Hi everyone, uh, I'm in Thailand and uh, you know when you are in Thailand uh, you should not miss on the Thai massage. So I'm here at spa, a Thai spa to take um, Thai herbal massage and uh, now I'm just enjoying this beautiful Thai tea along with my friend who has come from Malaysia who herself is a beauty queen and uh, she's one of a well-known celebrity in Malaysia so here she is hello everyone yes Dipali and myself will be going for a nice massage it's one of the must-do you know lists I mean to have a massage food and places of interest in Bangkok yeah I look forward to it <laughs> yes so while we're gonna start this massage uh you know and um uh, this this video is basically to encourage you especially the ladies who work day and night and they, they forget to pamper themselves massage is one of the best way to pamper yourself because it's very rejuvenating it's very relaxing it relaxes your mind body and definitely a soul um so make sure that you take a break and take a massage not necessarily that you come to Thailand, but you can take massage back in home. In India, we have a wonderful Ayurvedic massage, which is equally good. So see you. I'm going to show you what the Thai herbal massage actually looks like. I can give you a massage too, if you like. Really? <laughs> you can try mine. Oh my God. I can do it. Oh, wow. No, I'm just <laughs> yes. Yes. Let's be pampered. Yes. I mean? Let's be pampered. <laughs> yes. And uh, we both of us are here, you know, to judge uh, Mrs. Tourism Queen International 2019. So you know, as a jury, we have a uh, ample of time to, you know, the luxurious time for us to pamper ourselves. So we're just doing that, isn't it? Oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> Taking a break from all the madness, you know, back home. <laughs> And it's a great time, you it's know, great especially time. for married women, you have kids to take care of, you have your daily routine. And uh, I think sometimes it's also good to have a me time. You know? yes. it's, it's good to love yourself. True. And uh, it might not just be pampering by going for massages, but doing something that you really love. Love. Yes. yes. <laughs> True. True. So don't forget to pamper yourself, ladies. Work hard and rest like a queen. So see you. Okay. So, cheers. cheers! So with my quick foot care, I'm ready for a massage. So I'm heading towards a massage. So I'm going to see you after I finish my massage. Bye bye! So I have just finished my Thai herbal massage. It was very rejuvenating, very relaxing. And uh, I'm sure many of you must have already taken Thai herbal massage many times. But this was the first time uh, for me to take this massage and that too in Thailand itself. So uh, it, it's a different happiness altogether. Uh, the one difference that I have noticed um, between Thai herbal massage and uh, Indian herbal massage, which is Ayurvedic massage, um, Ayurvedic massage or the Indian herbal massage is mainly oil based so basically they, they put the, the herb based oil or you know coconut oil um, you know sometimes um, added with herbs in it you know the, the warm oil and they put on your body and they keep massaging it you know it, they keep massaging it until it's absorbed inside your body inside your skin um, ultimately relaxing you and feeling you rejuvenated and then you go and take a steam you know so that relaxes your muscles Thai herbal massage is mainly a pressure based so basically they put the pressure on your body and, and it keeps traveling from point to point um, that goes deep inside your body and uh, you know it relaxes your nerves your soothes your muscles ultimately um, feeling you de-stressed, uh, feeling you rejuvenated. Um, it is, of course, both of the massages have their own techniques, their own methods and uh, its own benefits. Um, but I think, uh, you know, whatever is available near by you, you, just, you should just go and enjoy your massage. The other thing that about the um, 
high herbal massage of course you find the same bag i mean same type of a bag even in the ayurvedic massage uh, that they put herbs inside of this bag um, sometimes even they put the sand inside of it um, in ayurvedic massage that i have seen sometimes they put the sand and they knot it up they get it warm it's not hot they get it warm and then they put on your body with certain pressure on it you know so even that relaxes you so basically both of the massages be it a herbal massage be it indian herbal or ayurvedic massage or a thai herbal massage both are very relaxing both are very rejuvenating it's just a matter whatever is available around you so just go and uh, enjoy your massage um the second advantage of uh, thai herbal massage is you really don't feel soaked in oil so uh, you know you don't really have to take a bath immediately after taking the massage or go and you know relax in a bed and allow oil get getting absorbed in your body this allows you to just walk out and uh, enjoy your day um so both of the massages are good because i'm in thailand i'm enjoying the thai massage if you are in india enjoy ayurvedic herbal massage after the massage you will be served with a piping hot thai tea along with a piece of cake now here is one more difference between a ayurvedic massage and a thai massage the indian herbal massage and a thai herbal massage is that maybe you will not be served with a thai herbal tea when you are doing the ayurvedic massage and definitely not a piece of cake especially if you are taking a massage from a certified ayurvedic practitioner you know whom we fondly called or we call them vaidyas so they are not going to serve you a cake which might be made up of egg which is you know not considered as sattvic as per um you know um indian values so maybe they may not serve you but there are different ways of doing massage you know it depends on the patient you know these um, ayurvedic practitioners they decide what to be served to you but in general it will not be served if, if you're going to take a massage in a leisure so there is a one more difference if you are taking a thai massage and the indian herbal massage so whatever it is i'm going to enjoy my tea mm, this is a ginger tea and there is no milk in it and this is really yum this is a cake it is completely made up of coconut so thai food or thai diet is more of the coconut based you know which is less little or little bit more like um kerala food or odisha uh, type of food or konkan type of food or goan food you know it all depends how you look at it end of the day i'm in thailand i'm enjoying my thai food and ginger hot tea